up welcome or welcome back so happy to have you here let's just dive right into another weekend in our life we just got back from the girls 18 month doctor's appointment which is insane they're actually almost 20 months but our doctor tends to be really booked so we are always a little bit behind and we really want to meet with him you can also meet with the nurses we love the nurses but we're just a little behind because we like to meet with the doctor girls went down for their nap i've just been getting some work done around the house and on my laptop now i'm prepping for snack time because they wake up from their nap and they are very much ready for a snack and i feel like they're going to be a little irritable because they did have to get some shots today so i'm over preparing to make for happy babies and Jonathan went back to work so it's just me and the gals for a few hours until he's back home. Maybe we'll run some errands, go to Target, things that are just good for the soul, you know? We took the girls to the mall this morning to run around because it's raining out. There is not many options for them to just like run and play when it's raining and you can go to like indoor play centers but we didn't want to pay for one today and we just wanted them to run around a little bit before their appointment so we went to the mall and the mall's a great option if you have one near you. A lot of times they have like indoor play spaces and it was perfect. We got there so early, no one was at the mall. Really, I mean, a few people started to come in, but the girls had the whole play center to themselves and they were loving it. We had to like pry them away to bring them to the doctors. It was a good morning and I'm excited for this weekend. It's currently Friday, so we have a crazy weekend in store, but let me get their snacks. The gals have been loving the Trader Joe's peanut butter puffs. They're like the puffed corn snack. So we're gonna do snack time in their room today because I'm actually finishing a load of laundry. I just folded our laundry, but the girls' laundry, obviously I can't fold and put away during nap time because they're in their room. So I'm going to wake them up and just fold and put their laundry away while they have snack in their bedroom. You just make it work. You make it work when you have toddlers. <laughs> making my own little Chex Mix here. I also have the freeze-dried strawberries and bananas from Trader Joe's. So it's a little peanut butter fruit bowl here. I talked about this in my Trader Joe's haul, but you know how you always see like dried fruit in grocery stores? That's not really great for toddlers. It is a choking hazard, at least I believe that. So freeze-dried fruit is great because it like dissolves in their mouth immediately and they love these little fruits. So I've found lately that it's helpful with toddlers to have like pre-portioned bowls of snacks as opposed to letting them see that you have the bag. When they can see a bag, they want the whole bag. Bananas, yummy, I think they'll like this. Also, I am going to just fill up their little sippy cups with water. I was under the impression that my daughters would not enjoy just water, so I always added a little bit of juice, and you know, we give them milk, obviously, still, but like last week, one day I was with them and I just gave them cups of water, and they loved it, and now they just love water. I don't even give them juice. There's no need, if they're drinking water happily, I would much rather them have that. They actually drink more of it because I think it's super hydrating for them. And yeah, they're gonna have a little trail mix bowl and water for snack time. When I intro these videos, I always like to think back to our week. What did I do? Yeah, I mentioned that I had the girls by myself yesterday and I said that I took them to an indoor play center and it was interesting. Like I now with being <laughs> unemployed. I have the girls a little bit more often and it's just been super cool to experience so many new things with them but with that comes obviously there's like pros and cons and I like went to this play center yesterday and I don't like to spill too much tea on here because I don't know how many people are like local that watch my videos and like will be able to pinpoint what I'm talking about but I went to a play center and I like go in and I have like both girls on me. I don't even bring a stroller with me so I'm like sweating, carrying them both up the elevator, trying to put one down so she can hit the buttons and whatever. And I like get into this play center and there's just like a ton of moms in there. It's kind of like crowded around each other, you know, given the hot gossip. And I don't know, as a mom, even when I'm struggling, like I make it a point if I see another mom out in the wild with her kids, like I am, it's like a look you give. It's like, I get it. Like almost like, can I help you? If you need help, let me know. Like I'm here for you. Like we got each other. Like the shit's hard. Like I walk in. And the look of like just judgment and like, like obviously I was like new to this play center and they all clearly like congregate there often. They were like just staring. It was so weird. It was so weird. And I just was like, this is like not the vibe, but I also like couldn't care less. My girls don't even have shoes on. I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't have jackets on. I like go into the play center. I just gravitated towards all the grandmas because there were, there were a ton of grandmas in there watching their grandbabies, chatting it up with the grandmas. Love them. We're clearly on the same playing field. Like some of these judgy moms, I just can't get behind it. There was one woman that like walked by and, and I'll, I'll, start by saying that when I 
and with my daughters. Okay, I have twins. Does anyone know that? Did you guys know I have twins? And I cannot like hover over my children. I've never been able to do that because I have two of them. If I'm hovering one, I'm fully ignoring the other. And it just, I choose to kind of stand back and observe both of them until they're approaching danger. And then I will intervene. That results in me not, I'm not like a helicopter parent. I'm just not. They need to understand their limits. And in order to do that, they kind of have to push their own limits. And so when you go to these play centers and when we go to the playgrounds outside, they climb and they do a lot of things that I think a lot of moms or at least I'm learning, a lot of moms don't allow their toddlers to do. And so I was there and Sienna was like trying to get into the boat and she was fully doing it wrong. Like she was like getting into this back part of this little boat. And like, I knew she wasn't, she was gonna realize that it wasn't the right part of the boat. She was like figuring out that that wasn't the right situation. And one woman walks by me and was like, oh God, I think she's stuck. I was like, I don't remember asking for you the thoughts inside of your brain, but sure, maybe she is. I'm gonna let her figure out how to get out of that so it doesn't happen again. And then two other times, similar situations happened. One, there was a newborn baby with this mom and her toddler and Ren like loves baby. So Ren like sprinted over to the baby and just wanted to like hug the baby. And I was like, oh God, absolutely not. Like get away from this baby, Ren. Apologized to the mom. She was like cool about it. But in that time period, I turned around, I went to go find Sienna. I saw her like going over this like arched wooden thing and she had like a ball Ball in her hand and she does that a lot at home like if she has lovey or she has a baby she always like climbs over things with like a ball in her hand and I let her do it she's learned that in our house and now she can safely do whatever she feels comfortable doing while we're out I'm like watching her and this other mom like stands up and is like oh god you're just gonna like let her do it and I'm like yeah yes other two moms behind me were really nice but Sienna climbs up little rock walls and they're like oh god you're so calm and with two I've learned that if you just give your kids the space to test their own boundaries, they're gonna figure it out and they're gonna be fine. It was just so interesting. I guess with having two also, I don't have the time to notice other children, you know, Sienna and Ren interact with them, I smile at the parents and whatever, but to fully, clearly I was just being like watched by a lot of other parents and it's not right or wrong, it just, I don't know, this was like new to me and I don't know, I just wanted to share, I don't know if any of you as twin parents feel like I do that you're kind of pushed to being less of a helicopter mom because you can't be. I don't know what the point of me sharing that was, but that was an experience I wanted to just tell you guys about and let me know if you have had any other, I don't know, interactions with other parents in the wild because it was just, I felt just weird. Like I just felt weird leaving that situation and I didn't really pay it much mind, honestly. Just like mental notes as I was going and I was just so focused on the girls, obviously, that that was just my Thursday and I wanted to tell you about it. I have like 20 minutes. I think I'm going to organize some of my thrift bundles and take advantage of a little bit of free time before my girlfriends get up. Let's just pray that they're in good moods after these shots. like that book? Dada, dada. Yeah, that is Dada. Is Dada a superhero? Wow. Wow. Dada, is Lovey dada, reading? Dada, dada. Silly. Yeah, that's Dada. Silly. No. 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 Sun. sun. Hello, sun. Hello. Hello. Not much sun today, though. Wow. Baba. Pile. We have lots of laundry to do. Are you gonna help me? Yes. Dress. Wow. Happy. Whoa. Happy. <laughs> go, Renny, go. She got so tired. Renny's sleeping. Uh, oh, Ren's awake. <laughs> <laughs> You're a giggle monster. <laughs> You're just so happy. Yeah. Do you want to come out? Yeah. Hey, Sienna. What are you doing? I don't know if many babies like to just hang out in their cribs all day, but ah choo, ah choo, ah choo, ah choo. Lovey. lovey. Oh, Lovey has to sneeze. Achoo. Lovey. <laughs> okay, Lovey has to sneeze. Achoo, Lovey. Achoo. 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 <laughs> Mama, Mama, Mama. Sienna. 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 Can you say Renny? Renny. Renny. <laughs> 
I'm gonna do this whole load of laundry before you will let me take you out of your crib. Yeah. Yeah, do you wanna come out? There she is. Not mommy with the laundry. Okay. Careful, you can stay in your crib, but can I at least put your pants on? Where's Sienna? Where's Sienna? Whoa. Yeah, let's get the other laundry out so you have some room. Let's take this out. Mommy still has to do all this laundry. Thank you. Do you want to go in? Yeah. Okay, you got to sit. Yeah. Do you want a snack? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sing. What? Sing. Do you want a snack? Yeah. Sing. You want to swing? All right, I'll swing you a little bit more and then we're going to have a snack, okay? One more minute. Banana. Banana. You want water? Can we finish laundry, please? Thank you. You all done with that? Is that what that means? You feed in Lovey? Lovey says thank you. You feed Baby? Baby says thank you. More? Okay, here you go. Strawberries? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'll trade you a sock for a puff. Here. Wow! Wow! So many socks. Thank you. Are you saying hi? <laughs> Run on your butt. sweater when I'm hanging out with these girls, let me tell you. What do you got? I'm always afraid they're gonna eat all the dog food, but that was a false alarm. I'm gonna play down here for a little while longer, and I think we're gonna head to Target, because I just feel like it. I wanna pick up some more Olipop. We've been chugging those. I'm also putting together some little... You say hi? <laughs> no, sit right here. Yeah, you have a ball. What color is the ball? B blue, kind of. How cute are these little thrifted sweaters? Yeah, do you have little squirrels on your shirt? <gasps> and Sienna has a horsey. Do you have a horsey? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what does the horsey say? Mimi. I, I want to put together. What, baby? Hi. Hi. <gasps> Go get sissy. You can blow a kiss. I also want to look at Target for some goodies to put inside these little Galentine's Day. Can you go put the ball in the ball pit? Yeah. I want to put together little Galentine's Day bags for some of my best friends that are planning me a fun little 30th birthday weekend. I'm just so grateful that they're doing that for me. And I want to put together some little Galentine's themed bags to just tell them how much I love them. So I'm going to start scoping out things at Target. I might thrift a little bit for each of them. I haven't decided yet, but I want to do something. I also just realized this is definitely going out before my birthday. So surprise, ladies. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to rally the troops and we are going to go to... Target. What's up? It is a little while later and I wanted to 
sit down and chat about the month of February. And February is one of my favorite months personally because it's my birthday month, Aquarius season baby. Also because I think we're coming off of the slow month of January. I feel like things kind of pick back up. We have Valentine's Day, which I feel like you're either a Valentine's Day person or you're not. I happen to be a Valentine's Day person. I think everyone should be. It doesn't have to revolve around a romantic partner in your life. It can just be a time to like love on yourself and embrace just like self-care and self-love and um, so I love the month of February and I really take that month to treat myself and again I don't think it has to be your birthday month for you to do that I think it's a great time to just prioritize you and do things that make you happy and fill your cup and so that all being said I am excited to partner with Ana Luisa Jewelry again because they're running a campaign where it's up to 25% off their entire website which is so so good because their prices are already reasonable for such high quality jewelry you know that it's all I wear I love Ana Luisa so much I'm excited about their campaign because with the month of February coming up, they're really spreading the belief and notion that loving yourself is just as important as loving others and you really need to water your own garden before you can go out and water others. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. So I wanted to show off my Ana Luisa pieces that I am wearing today that I'm always wearing because I love them so much. So I have my mama necklace on that I always show. I'm always wearing it and then this emerald green gorgeous piece. I've had these for years, years and years. They're still in perfect condition which says a lot because again the jewelry is priced so affordably and it lasts all of my pieces I've had for years some are new but the ones that I've had have stood the test of time I also have my chunky hoops and my second little mini hoop on as well I think the jewelry really makes an outfit and for me when I think of being a mom being busy not having a ton of time for self-care I really value putting jewelry on in the morning it makes me feel good and put together and I love that Ana Luisa has pieces that you can throw on every day that elevate an outfit but they also have pieces on the weekends if I have an event something formal, something informal. They just have a piece for every need. And I also think that jewelry is such a great gift, of course, to yourself as I'm expressing here, but I also think if you have someone in your life that you want to treat, whether it's their birthday, a Valentine's Day gift, anything that's upcoming or just because, Ana Luisa is such a great option for you because a lot of their items have meaning to them and you can explore their website and get a sense of what I mean, but you can attach a lot of personalized meaning to the pieces so they make for really great gifts to yourself and others. One of my favorite initiatives that Ana Luisa engages in is circularity. They have a future focus on innovative forms of recycled materials, crafting their own recycled brass alloy, and they continue to research potential recycling partners to create an even more circular process. Ana Luisa jewelry is crafted with the planet in mind. The brand is carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, offsetting 100% of their carbon footprint. Ultimately, you need Ana Luisa and the quality of the products are just so good. I would not steer you wrong and I've had these products for so long so the proof is in the pudding and they have so many different materials that meet your needs whether you're a sterling silver girly gold everything from rings bracelets anklets necklaces you know all pieces of jewelry they can offer to you so definitely check them out at the link down below and thank you again Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video let's get back into the vlog good morning what's up I just got out of the shower and <laughs> the soaking wet hair because there's no time to blow dry around here. But we just made the girls pancakes. It's Saturday, so it's obviously pancake day. And Jonathan just went up to wake them up. But I wanted to show you, as you can see a little sneak preview over here of our latest little kitchen project. I mentioned months ago, this was back when I was still employed and not laid off. We had all these big dreams of doing our kitchen over and maybe our backyard and obviously things have changed and that's not an option for a while. So we wanted to try to do a very affordable kitchen refresh and so I wanted to show you what we did and if you're like us and you need some budget friendly upgrades in your home or things that can just spruce it up for fairly cheap, I just want to share those things with you like in my last vlog I showed what we did in our closet to try to conceal chaos instead of putting a whole cabinet in there tips and tricks here and there to save a buck but the number one thing that I see all over interior designers pages and just tips and tricks is if you want to spruce up any space you just need to start with the rug and I knew that I wanted to do something that would really make a statement in here because I like high contrast I like things that are a moment and in my perfect world I would have like painted the walls and done all these other things but we 
we found this really affordable rug that I just love. It's washable. This is what we did and I think it changes the whole look of this room and I'm, I'm obsessed. I really love it. And then as you saw, we completed our family photo wall and I think this also elevated the room so much just by putting up more images and photo frames on the wall and I think that can really be a game changer if you have a space with a lot of bare walls, you don't know what to do with them. Like, you know, you can obviously do something like this with family photos, you can do artwork. Like I think just covering blank space in your home can really be helpful. And Jonathan and I spent last night just putting up photos of our little family and Dobby, of course, got a spot on the wall. This was such a nice little date night to celebrate our little family. And I just love these photos so much. I think they are just the cutest things in the whole world. So yeah, nothing groundbreaking, but it helps and it makes a difference. And if you find that you see all over social media, everyone's like doing all these big upgrades and updates to their homes and whatever. Like you can do little things in your house to make you personally feel better about the space that you live in. And it does not have to break your bank. Also, I know I always plug thrifting, but I always see such beautiful home decor pieces while I thrift and everything is always like under $10, if not under $5. So check out your local thrift stores too. And what's great about that is that everything you find is unique. It's usually one of one, or at least it's, you know, not in the trends right now and it won't come and go. Like thrift pieces are timeless. So it's a great option to spruce up your home, but I'm gonna go see my babies. Songs you were in, I just wanna be there again. Milk. 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 Pancakes. Good morning. 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 Good I don't know if it's hit country, but it's 2010's country playlist on Spotify. That was the era. And listening to it gives you like nostalgia, good energy. The girls love it. But yeah, up and out before 9 a.m. Well, it's after 9 now, but we're heading to the Boston Children's Museum. <laughs> The best. They're excited. We've gone here like three weekends in a row now, honestly. Weekend in a row? We went last weekend for sure. We've been going a lot, which we, is awesome. We were supposed to go with Lily and her husband and two boys. <laughs> she's talking to she's, you. I know. Hi. <laughs> she's got something to tell me. Yes. Yes. Mm, say love you. So she just wants to show me that she's taking her socks off. There's lovey. I know. She wants her country back, so let's keep this short and sweet. Just got my pistachio cream, cold foam, cold brew, and my... Kale and mushroom egg bites, which are on the secret menu at Starbucks. John was like, I have the spinach egg bites, and they're like, the what? Like, sir. John is like, Courtney, what are you I don't doing do well to with me? That stuff. Shout out to the husbands that be going through the Starbucks drive throughs for their wives asking for the most Sound insane like order. It's wizardry. Lovey. I did lose Lovey. I told you that when I took them by myself to the play center yeah, that's frightening. this week and I was like, Sienna, where is it? you got to remember because those yeah. places are crazy. She and did if, retrace her steps. She did. And my biggest fear was that another child was going to imprint on Lovey in the amount of time that Lovey was lost. And then I would have to pry it away from that child to give it to my child. Anyways. It would have to be done. It would have to be done. Rock, paper, scissors, a sheep. Between me and a toddler? Yeah. All right. That seems fair to me. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dinosaur. Uh. <laughs> wow. One, because I'm cold, and two, because my hair is just poof. It's a poof ball. Just made myself some afternoon cherry cola olipop. It is my favorite afternoon pick-me-up right now. I 
just have not been into coffee in the afternoons so and this is so good i actually picked up the vintage cola cans they're always sold out at our local target where they sell olipop and jonathan wanted to try the vintage cola and we both tried it last night it's so good it's really like we could taste the vanilla in it and we looked at the ingredients and it said that it has like hints of vanilla cinnamon and one other thing that i can't remember so it's not like exactly like your traditional coca-cola but it's really good and it's like not bad for you so anyways what's up it's later on jonathan left right after we got the girls down for their nap to go get lunch with his brother and i quite honestly made myself lunch and i sat on my couch in there for the last hour and a half watching reality tv and it was great i'm so tired i have not been sleeping well at all this whole week i i can't sleep i'm hoping to get to bed early tonight we will see but i wanted to use the last like hour of nap time to read so i'm gonna take my little beverage up to my bedroom and hopefully finish fourth wing tonight a few of you have asked for updates and my book club meeting is next friday so i need to just finish it up i'm hoping this weekend tonight i feel like i'm gonna take a little cbd gummy finish my book and go to bed it's gonna be great it's gonna be great but before i go upstairs something really special came in the mail i don't think i ever mentioned this on here but i wanted to show you guys and do like a real-time unboxing of a book that i'm in you heard that right i am in a book so i got involved in like this book a long time ago and as a lot of you probably know it takes a long time for books to get to the point of like being published and being released to the world so it just feels like forever ago that this process started and i'm just so honored to be included so i want to show you okay okay are you ready this is the book it is 100 Women on Becoming a Mom, and it's by Julia Barthelms, who's the founder of Pregnancy Mindset. I am so honored to be included in this. I am honored to be one of these 100 women, and I am just so excited to read this book and hear so many other incredible stories. My story is being shared in a book. Like, I'm, I'm so, so honored that they reached out to hear from me and include me um and it's all about how women experienced pregnancy birth and the newborn phase so this i have not read it yet but i assume that you would find it valuable if you are a mom if you are an expecting mother if you are someone who wants to become a mom or you just want to hear from other women about this journey that they've been on and how they experienced it and they walked through those phases of life. I certainly am, am so excited to read this. So on the back, it says we asked 100 women about their experiences and we got their answers. And so down below, I am going to link Pregnancy Mindset's website, their Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I'm going to link it all so that you can check this out and support. And I just thank you all for, you know, being here, watching my YouTube videos, keeping up with our family. It's given me a platform. And even though it's, it's small, it's mighty, and there's such a sense of community here. And it is the reason that pregnancy pregnancy mindset was able to find me and I just am so honored I keep saying that but I am just seeing my name in here page 171 in case you care I have no idea if that even focused but mom and dad I'm in a book and it's about being a mom which is like such an honor because it is my favorite thing to be so I think I was just a few weeks or months postpartum when I wrote my you know excerpt in this book so i am a little nervous and like anxious to hear what i said because i don't even remember with each woman's reflection um they put a rating at the beginning on where they would rate pregnancy birth and the newborn phase and one means they did not enjoy the phase at all and 10 means they fully enjoyed it and so pregnancy i put a nine which is true as most of you know i i loved being pregnant which is so annoying i, I know trust me i was not expecting that experience for myself but i absolutely loved it birth i put an eight and then newborn phase a three <laughs> which i feel like so many people don't have that experience like a lot of people really liked the newborn phases and hated being pregnant so it's just so cool to see different experiences and okay and there i am just oversharing as i do in a book and that's just really cool. So I thought I was gonna read Fourth Wing, but now I just wanna dive in and hear from all of these women. So I probably will go do that instead. But yeah, this will all be linked down below for you guys. I would love to have you read it and let me know what you think and support such an incredible, incredible writer and entrepreneur. Um, you know, Julia is someone that had a vision 
for this book and for bringing women together in a way that allows for inclusivity and allows for your experience to matter because it's yours and it might not be you know relatable to everybody but it, it's I'm sure relatable to someone and can help someone all of our experiences shape us okay I'm babbling I could probably talk all day about this because I'm just so excited and so honored <laughs> okay I am gonna go read I think I hear one of my daughters waking up right now anyway so this might be short-lived until tonight but I'm just so excited <laughs> just got out of the thrift store if you couldn't tell and I forgot my reusable bag that I normally take with me to go thrifting carried out my pile in hand starting my car because it's freezing okay wow I was in there for an hour and a half and it felt like so much less than that like I all of a sudden I'm like oh my gosh I need to pick up dinner and get home to the girls so it's just the girls and I having dinner tonight Jonathan is going out with his friends so I'm gonna pick up pizza it's gonna be a Saturday night pizza night I just called it in I'm gonna go grab it and bring it home but I do have a few minutes so I wanted to show you some of the things that I got honestly I probably shouldn't show you everything because for my friends watching my little galentines I am going to be giving you some of these one piece is for a thrift bundle it's knit collared sweater that is so stunning and I found a white Hanes just like plain crew neck t-shirt to go underneath it and I think it will look so good and then I have been looking for a really high quality navy crew neck and I found this Land's End one in a size XL so I'm super excited about it. It has some stains but I can usually tell when a stain will come out in the wash. All of these minor stains seem like they'll come out. I picture this with like a red shoe or like a white t-shirt underneath it and like a funky sock. I just got ordered these like super cool printed socks that I think will elevate some of my outfits. So I just wanted a navy crew neck. Oh, I found this sick Levi's button down. It's a really heavy duty jean that I just think is so, so sick and can be styled so many ways. It needs a good steam and wash, obviously, but it's like a genuine vintage Levi's button down that I just think is super cool. I love items like that. What else did I get? Oh, I got this cool, <laughs> I got this cool graphic t-shirt that I don't want to show you because it's like an inside joke of one of my friends and I don't want her to see it. Same with this one. Ah. I got, you kind of got a sneak peek. I got two or three graphic t-shirts that just reminded me of some of my friends that I'm thrifting for, and I'm excited about those. Two more items that I picked up for myself, but could see myself including in a future bundle. This I thought was so cute for the springtime, just tucked into jeans. I love just a simple kind of statement top, like I like the color block of this. With a pair of jeans and a fun shoe, white sneakers, whatever, I thought this was cute. And then this last piece, I have no idea why I felt the need to buy it, but I absolutely did. I could not stop looking at it. It's this little number that I just, I don't know, sometimes when I see a piece, I just immediately see myself styling it, and this is one of those pieces. It's beautiful, it has this suede detail. I think the stitching is just stunning, and I love the fringe at the bottom. I just think it's cool, I like cool shit. So that's it, I need to get home to my children and have some dinner, and it's pizza night, we love that. <laughs> Are you ready for the day? Mama, mama. Hi. Mama. Yes, baby. Hey, boom bats. Mama. Yeah, that is Dobby's that bed. Is Dob pause. Pause. Okay, what's up? It is a little while later on. Happy Sunday to me and my chaotic thrift bundle business. <laughs> I am trying to organize this week's bundle so that I can get them out on Monday. I can show you this bundle right here. This is the last one I'm finalizing. I picked up some awesome Zara jeans. She had a lot of knits on her board, especially knit vests. So I was really excited about the detail of this one. There's some just chunky sweaters and just some gorgeous knits that she's gonna be really excited about. 
give out. And then all my other bundles that I need to package on up. But I just took a shower. We got the girls down for a nap around noon and I curled my hair. We do have a first birthday party to go to soon so i wanted to try to get ready while the girls were sleeping so curled my hair still need to do my makeup i put on these eye patches i wanted to show you they are by the brand faded it's their topicals brightening and clearing eye masks and i really like them they stay on so so well and they just make me feel re-energized and they brighten up my face when i use them so i haven't been getting great sleep like i mentioned last night i actually did get good sleep very excited about that but i still feel like i need a little pick me up and i really like to do as much self-care as possible on Sundays. But we had a really nice morning. My girlfriend Alyssa and her boyfriend Sean came over and it was the girls first time meeting Sean and they were just enthralled by him. Like he was so good with them and they just had the best, best morning and we already have a next play date planned at the aquarium because they just like really um, gravitated towards both him and Alyssa. They were just being so silly. I did not film any of it because I was just enjoying my time catching up with them, but it was it was a really, really fun morning. And then, yeah, I got the girls down for a nap and here we are getting ready for this birthday party. So I am trying to be better about showing things that I'm like loving right now on my YouTube channel, like doing little segments within my videos that just kind of show you things that I'm enjoying. Maybe it's self-care or certain activities I'm liking, whatever it might be. Um, so again, showing these eye patches, normally uh, I like put them on before I film or whatever, but I wanna show you you in case you know you want to treat yourself to one thing that i am loving right now and not sponsored in any way these are literally six dollars on amazon is dermaplaning my face and i don't know if you guys are familiar with dermaplane i'm sure some of you are some of you might not be and i would get dermaplane facials and it essentially just like shaves your face it's like a gentle shaving and it's not even just hair it's like like i generate like peach fuzz and like dead skin kind of accumulates on my face and when i put makeup on it makes it look like cakey and so i would get these like dermaplane facials that aren't super cheap you know they're always worth it to me however i am obviously trying to think of ways to like cut costs in my life and trying to determine what i really want and what i need and i don't need these facials but i want to keep my skin feeling good and so i essentially order these little dermaplaners online this is a 12 pack i can link down below for you i just like honestly the color of them the reviews were really good and you use them once and you toss them so i wanted a 12 pack you can teach yourself how to dermaplane i just watched youtube videos and taught myself how to do it it is a gentle razor so be careful but i can't even tell you how good my skin feels after after I use these so you guys should definitely try it out it's a good self-care treat it makes me feel really good like I'll exfoliate my skin before get all the dead skin off and then I'll dermaplane and it's not even just makeup but like your skincare if you use like moisturizer and oils it gets into your skin even better when you dermaplane because there's not an added layer of like hair fuzz or whatever so try these out and then lastly I wanted to give an update on my nude journey <laughs> which sounds funny not my actual nude journey I am in a robe though. Told you, I think in my last vlog, or it was like two vlogs ago now, that I was going to start using this like anti odorant and essentially stop using deodorant. And I did. It's been, I think, almost a month if my maybe three weeks but i i'm loving it i have not used deodorant one time i have not experienced any problems i you know started this because i was just finding that i was sweating a lot and i needed deodorant constantly and i do not sweat nearly as much anymore and what's weird i don't know if it's my body just adjusting because there's a 30-day adjustment period i find that sometimes if i have a little bit of like an odor to me it's on the days that i do apply this but like on day two three when i don't have any when i don't apply anything i'm i don't smell myself at all and I always ask Jonathan if he smells me and he says no so there are times like for example today I'm going to be wearing a sweater and I'm going to be out with the girls running around with them and sometimes that combination makes me like smell a little bit I don't know but I smell way worse when I wear deodorant and I have to constantly put it on so ultimately this has been very worth it to me it's very affordable and I highly recommend it I feel like the experience is only getting better and better as weeks go on so I can see myself continuing with this process for sure okay and then last thing as you probably saw over here this whole time I showed you guys that I have been receiving the FabFitFun boxes seasonally this is my second one now this is the spring box because spring is right around the corner and I love a subscription box because 
because you're getting products that you are selecting for way cheaper because they're bundled together and it's just such a good deal and there's just something so exciting like I haven't even opened this yet I made my selects like a month ago I kind of forget what I got and it's such a good again self-care experience I waited I got this a few days ago but I wanted to wait until Sunday to open it because it feels good to treat yourself and I just love things like this that offer an experience for you. So spring 2024, so cute. Yeah, they have so many incredible products. Like I think you guys are gonna like the stuff that I got, but they have things like Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Pat McGrath, Beyond Yoga, Show Me Your Moo Moo, Jonathan Adler. Like they work with really good brands and you get really good stuff for great prices with FabFitFun. Sneak peek at the goodies, I'm so excited. This is a pore smoothing SPF 30 sunscreen by St. Jane, really good brand. I've heard great things about them and super cute packaging. Okay, Living Proof Dry Shampoo. My favorite dry shampoo. I literally used it today and now I'm stocked up. And then I've really been wanting to try the Tula Skin Care. It's the 24-7 Moisturizer. They're hydrating day and night cream. And this I thought was cool. I actually have the First Aid Beauty Moisturizing Cream that I use on like my neck especially and my face when I really need a good moisturizer. But they also have these facial radiance pads with glycolic and lactic acids. I'm excited about that. I haven't used something like this before so I'm intrigued and then they sent me the nude sticks lip butter in the shea and avocado scent I love it okay and then I was so excited about this so I picked this cute little clutch bag by Melly Bianco I'm obsessed with it I need a little mini cream clutch for the spring and summertime I don't have one and this was an option in their spring box so you guys can get your hands on this too. It's not a cheap bag and for the bundle that you get with this box, it's so worth it. So super cute. Thank you so much FabFitFun. I will link them down below and the discount code. I'll have it on the screen here too. It's Courtney C F F F. you can use as well. So definitely check them out and treat yourself. You deserve it. But yes, I'm going to put my makeup on and just get myself ready for the day before the girls get up. Maybe make a nice coffee because I think I need it. But I'm going to end this off here to just enjoy the rest of our cozy little Sunday as a family. But I just appreciate you all watching my videos and I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm really trying to create more content over there to create a stronger sense of community on these platforms. Now that I have a little bit more time on my hands, I wanna make sure I use it in the best way possible and I love meeting more and more of you. So definitely stick around if you'd like and I will see you in my next video.